and gentlemen, welcome to Premier Wrestling. Yeah, we've got an incredible show for you today. We've got four amazing matches. You definitely gonna want to stick around. Uh, this week, uh, we've got an interesting match starting up. We've got Abby Hunter versus Kimon, and he's with Corrupted. As usual, looks like Unhinged is back. And don't forget, we got our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Subscribe that way you'll know when the next edition of Premier Wrestling is on. Here's our referee, Earl England, makes his way to the ring. And don't forget, this match is brought to you by Diamond Sands Family RP Community. If you want to be a police officer, firefighter, or even a wrestler, check out Diamond Sands Community. Here comes the big man from Manchester. Yeah, but don't forget who he's going up against. Unhinged. You know Corrupted will be lurking out there and he's going to be. Finding a little time to insert himself in the match. Those two together are dangerous. But you, you could be a, you could be ready for a regular wrestling match, but you can you'll ne you never be ready for unhinged. You'll never know what they will pull out. Come on, you know, you must see the eyes in the back of your head. Oh yeah, you definitely gotta have the eyes in the back of your head. You got the thing is you have to focus on your opponent, but also Keep an eye on what's going on outside, because a lot of times the referee might not even see it, and you never know what'll happen. Well, here comes his opposition. Uh, hold it. Is that a bad I see in Corrupted's hands? Uh-oh. That cannot be good at all. And Kimon, he hails from Dallas, Texas. He stands six foot eight, 225. You gotta watch out for that corkscrew neck, neck breaker, 450 splash. But yeah, the he did. Thing he, is, I always saw goalies wielding hockey sticks. Well, maybe Maybe she's going to wield the baseball bat. Maybe she should be a catcher's mask that he wears instead of the hockey mask. The corrupt is taking his time just walking around the ring, eyeing up his, eyeing up Kimon's, Kimon's opponent. Uh-oh. That can't be good with corrupted up on the apron. I would think. I, def I definitely have to think twice about this because you got both of them in the game. They're dangerous as singles competitors, but as a team, that makes them doubly dangerous. Well, we shall see. You know, last match Kimon had, he did win very handily. You no, know, but this time he's got a bigger opponent. And we'll see, what, we'll see if he can actually take the big man down. Ah, oh, looks like a fan gets a uh, free souvenir from from Unhinged. They get their very own ring worn Unhinged T-shirt. Pretty much a free sweat towel. Okay, looks like Rebel is giving their pre pre-match checks, patted them down, make sure there's nothing. Uh, Ain't got anything illegal. Looks like we're about ready to get underway. Well, 
But yeah, no matter what sport it hinged his dress for, I'm pretty sure it'll be AT double hop E6 for Abby if he's not careful. Oh yeah, you know, the hunter, hunter's definitely gotta be careful because in this type of match, you know, even though you have your one opponent in the ring, you've gotta keep, you gotta keep your peripheral vision on, on corrupted because you know, somewhere down the line, he may end up getting into, getting, injecting himself into this match. I see no problem with that, you know, he's got to do it to help his tag team partner. Looks like we've got a lock up. up. We are underway. Mm -hmm. You know, as I was saying, you know, Corrupt is just doing to help his, to help his teammate, to help his partner. If he injects himself too much, oh. remember the referee has the right to Ouch. eject him. Exactly. Ouch. That was definitely what, that definitely was not what Kimon wanted. He definitely did not want a kick right into the gut. Uh-oh. Comes and off the rope. And turning oh. oh, what a, what a hard clothesline. He is definitely, Big definitely. Big of power early on from the hunter. Yeah, but if he can avoid it, use his speed and quickness, he can take down, he can take down the hunter. You don't want to get, you know, you mm. definitely, like I said, you definitely do not want to go nose to nose, toe to toe with the big guy. Use your speed, use your quickness, and we have a pin attempt already. I don't, only one, only one. It's not a bad idea trying to score the quick fall before you get double teamed. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Get, out of dodge. <laughs> get in, get the job done, get out, get on the put it to the next day. But like I said, looks like the big man just standing over, standing over. He's given him too much time. He's he's got to get. It just I don't like seeing that where he gives him too much time to recuperate. Big Irish whip into the corner. He's looking at oh oh tenderizing those ribs. A few more than punches, you can end up with a couple of fractured ribs. That or Memphis barbecue. Oh. Oh, stop that. You're making me hungry now. I'm surprised. Oh. Ouch. And now some strikes going on. Followed by an air whip. Sends a big man off into the corner. Oh, uh, that's just that's just what he needed. Came on looking moment. to get even. Get the momentum going on his side. And now he's got Now he's got the big man in the corner. Ouch! Oh, you can hear that back here. That sounds like it hurts. And it looks like looks like we got a We'll build up a full head of steam. Comes across the ring. Oh, big, big splash. And a monkey flip to follow it up. Now, if he was smart, he'd roll over into that pin. But I think this match is taking, both, taking a lot out of both of them. Oh, the, big, the Hunter's getting up very... Very, very slow. Oh. On, saying, get up, poser. Well, he got what he wished for. The big man is up. Oh, he's got that vice like headlock wrapped around him. He's dragging him out to the middle of the ring. He's saying, I've been in the gym, watch this. 
big suplex. I tell you, that was definitely a show of strength. Definitely a show of strength, getting that big man up and over. I like this. He's showing that he can take on the big men. Well, that can sometimes take take a toll on your back when you do that to a bigger opponent. Now it looks like we've got a quick cover. Oh, oh, two of maybe a half. Time. It looks like uh, he's not really happy with that. He, he had a few words for the ref, and then of course he got corrupted out there. Shot once again reminding him the weenus. Yeah, but yeah, it might not be a bad idea. You gotta do what you gotta do to win these matches. Oh, ooh. oh, he's wrenching on he's got that front face lock. It uh oh. And corrupted uh -oh. offering the referee a beer. Oh, Oh, big, big power bomb. Now that, that's like falling off the top of a building coming down that high. And we've got another cover. Only a two count. A lot Only... of fight left in both of these men here. Exactly, exactly. And a little shove up. Oh, and then. Oh, he's going with those old school punches. punches. He's laying them in. Oh, kick. Big old kick to the gut doubles the big man over. And Kraken oh, seeing the first shit. Beautiful, beautiful floating DDT. Oh, that was, um, that was beautiful athleticism. Came on uh, track and he got his breath back. Will he, he capitalized? He just said we may we may see that uh that 450 splash because he said he wants to fly. And when this man flies, he flies high. That sounds like it is the beginning of the end for the big man. Demon is up on top. He's stalking him like a like a big cat stalks its prey. There oh, he goes airborne. Beautiful. Beautiful 450 splash. And we got a three count. And it looks like it looks like uh the unhinged boys are gonna go out and have a few beers. So came on, Jewel, what, what's the win? What a showing, what a showing. And you notice, Corrupted did not get in the ring. He let his partner take him out on his own. But that 450 splash is something, oh, there he goes. But nothing can be done. There they go, there they go, the double team stomps. Adding a little insult to injury here. Yeah, that ain't. That's just toughening him up for his next match. These boys are just toughening the big man up for his next match. Come on now. Uh-oh, this don't look good. This Here's is our in for him for his next match. A little, uh, a little extracurricular activities, if you will. Oh, big old splash, big old splash. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Unhinged doing what they do best. A little post-match extracurricular activities. I think they've had. I think they've had enough fun with uh, with the hunter. They said these two. It looks like they finally said that was enough for the damage they've been inflicting. Hey, you know, it'll just serve to toughen him up, make sure that the hunter knows he's got to look all over the place, especially against these two.
welcome, welcome back. Okay. My name is Ryan James, and I'm here with Mace Britt Drury. Well, welcome you guys back after that last match. Loved it. Can't say more about it. Corrupted, kept outside until after the match, and then he had his fun. We got our, we got our, we just showcase our females. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This contest is set for one fall. First introducing to you out of Tokyo. You know, like, I, like I was saying before the commercial break. I say I'm not The conqueror's got to watch out for her because with her speed and the evasiveness, if she if she gets the upper hand, she uses that speed. She could act, she could take down the bigger wrestler. This oh, is a lady who should never underestimate a lighter opponent. But if the conqueror gets a hold of her, um, it ain't going to be pretty. I'll tell you that right now. That's uh, not going to be. The referee doing his check. But re referee's got to be very careful with the female, female wrestlers. You know, one might take offense. Put him down. Great. <laughs> but I, I definitely like to see what her um, her finishing looks looks like. I, you know, definitely got to definitely got to do a little more um, investigating, a little more uh, get a little more knowledge about her. She sounds like she could definitely be a contender. Oh. A 640 splash. Wow. Yeah, she calls it the Sonic Spinball. All right, here comes the Conqueror. Masha. She comes to you from Italy at a height of 5'7 and a weight of 161 pounds. She definitely has a height and weight advantage over her smaller opponent, but let's see if. Suzu could use that disadvantage and turn it into an advantage. Well, yeah, she looks like she double joined it. Does that help? <laughs> it, it may help, but that's unless uh, Conqueror gets a hold of her and she's going, she's going to twist all them joints into zillions of little pieces. Oh, they do have circuses in Italy. <laughs> Quite a few Italian acrobats out there. I would want to have after me. It right, looks like looks like our referee is giving you the old pat down, making sure everything's okay. Looks like we're gonna be getting underway soon. Like I said, Fritz, last week's women's match was amazing. I mean, quick, high flying. They did just about everything. They said they. Masha's gonna definitely try to keep it, keep the smaller, quicker opponent grounded. Not let her get, not her, let her use her speed. Not let her use the high flying attributes. Well, Suzu is your typical Kawaki girl who loves all things manga, anime, and pink. She isn't the sort of person you usually see in the wrestling ring, but don't let her cute appearance fool you. Exactly. She's fast and known for her very fast pins. As soon as your guard's down, she can roll you up and end the match in seconds. Yeah, but don't forget, she's got to wear down the stronger opponent first. Also on the side, she donates nearly all of her earnings from Premier to a local children's hospital. Also visits those children regularly. Yeah, that, that's something you very rarely hear people do when they donate the money. 
I can always apply for Landry B. Oh, look at her. She said, uh, she said she, she wants to have a good match with Hunter Sound. And of course, oh, Ma, she's rocker. like, Ma, she's like, less talking, more fighting. She just wants to get it on. Oh, ouch. A little kick in the <laughs> mid person. Oh. It looks Susie like Susie Gunner is known to be quite a sport in the ring. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes you got to forget being the sportsman and do what you need to do to win. Yeah, especially when your opponent is anything but. I mean, oh, we wow. see... Hey. Oh, she... Like I said... Now, kick to the midsection of her own. Like I said, Masha, Def, Masha will... I don't think she's gonna have any kind of problem with this later. We, you know, smaller opponent. Come on, usually, you know, big, big people, you know. Oh, there you go, big old shove, shoved her almost into the corner. Ah, welcome back there, the my friend. Hey, uh, well, you're talking about her being with big people. Let's not forget about her fighting uh, Nikita one time. I and mean, Nikita's a big person there. She goes off the number. Oh. Into a big Anybody wow. get the license plate of that truck that just ran that ran Suzu over? I'm sorry, that looked like a big truck running down a Toyota. Oh, and we got a cover. Oh, looks like she's bridging up into feet. that cover. Let's see what happens here. Giving a few of our ringside fans a view on one side. Yeah, uh, looks like only a one count. She done kicked out. Wow. I would have thought. I would have thought they, that that would have been it. She looked like she almost took her head off. Mm-hmm. That should have definitely been it for that for the smaller opponent, but we'll see. She got up. Yeah, looks like she's got a little resilience here. Yeah, but resilience don't mean anything. Resilience means as much as heart. Oh! Wow! Look at that arm twister. You go ready to twist her arm right off of there. That, well, well, with her quickness, she was able to get out of that, get out of that lockup and just twist. Oh, we got a hammer lock. There we go. She's bringing that arm. She's trying to cross the back of her palm with her shoulder blade. Oh, but, now we see that Susie Yoon has some technical skills. Oh, oh, just, uh, oh. Right over her head. What did I say, yo? I want to check to see if hair was pulled on that snap mare. What does she need to pull her hair for? She yeah, just grabbed yeah, the hole yeah. and threw it around like a sack of potatoes. Come on now. She don't need to pull no hair, that's for sure. Conqueror does not need to pull hair. I can see... Now the conqueror taunting up in the corner. Oh, uh, it looks like Susan's saying uh, her head hurts. Looks like she might have hit that hard. Well, that's what happens when you when you tangle with a bull. You get the horns. Or get tossed by the horns. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now they're back out to the center. Back at the center ring. Looks like this yeah, match they is both taken. Uh, Need to catch your breath there a little bit. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Just gave her another chop. Oh, Susie, you starting to fight back a little bit. Yeah. All that's gonna do is all going. that's gonna do is. I think I think Susie's just showing who she is. And a running big boot. Yeah, but. Yeah, a few, a few moves strung together does not win you a match. You got to keep it constant. She's letting, look at this, she's just standing there watching her opponent get up. Yeah, yeah, she that got a lot be, to learn, don't she? Don't stand there. Don't give her no time. Be on her. Be on her. Mm -hmm. Grab her. Get her up. Yeah. Get into the next move. You can't let somebody like Conqueror. 
get that breath back into her body. Points have been from from the conqueror. Oh, as they lock oh. back up, got into a lock here, lock up here. Oh, oh, a headbutt. That must have that, that must have felt like somebody get like like her getting hit hit in the head with a bowling ball. I tell you, she definitely seen stars. I don't know. I like her pretty hair. <laughs> I like her pretty pink hair. I think, uh, I, I think uh, Susan seeing, seeing Pokemon or, uh, or Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, beautiful, beautiful move. Look like yeah, that might be a step up in Siguri. Beautiful step up in Siguri. Showing some of that Japanese Kuroisu style. <laughs> Don't you know it? Oh! She's slowly bringing her up. Yeah. Taka looks like she's tired, but I'm not going to count her out. I think she's going to take this match handily. I thought she was going to drag her there for a second. Uh-oh. She's got her shit up for a power bomb, but I don't think she's strong enough to lift it. I don't think she's strong enough to lift. Wow. Yeah, oh, there she oh, she showed Three two. power bomb. Wow, that I did not expect. I did not see that. She definitely has some strength. She... But is she going to capitalize on this? She's standing there letting her opponent recover. Yeah, that was hard to watch. But can she regain enough energy to cover her? Oh, but I'll tell you, Suzu, you've given her too much time, dear. Well, it could um, just be fatigue from pulling that move off. True, but if you give if you give oh. somebody like the Conqueror too much time, that could be a fatal, fatal mistake. Well, Suzu Yoon has her back up. Oh! Ooh, Marsha oh. got some extra uh, uh, a breath there. She don't yeah. kick her in the grip. Oh, it looked like she put her foot right Brewer. I think it's I think it's time to send, send this little one back to our Pokeball to recover. Oh, oh ouch! I bet you that hurt. That probably sent a few power rings flying. Uh spine but if you want to make sure it hurts, you you can always go down there and I'm sure she'll be willing to spine spine bust for you. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Uh, there we go. We got a lot. Oh, we got a lot. Gary and Sharpshooter. Oh, look. Who calls this the knee bender? Uh oh. And she is, she is making Suze, Suzu bend her knee to the conqueror. The ref keeps asking her, do you give? As all female. Wrestlers should bow their knee to the conqueror. Oh, well, she's oh, saying she, it hurts so oh, much. Oh, oh. She definitely got to make her. She's tapping the match. We got yeah. a submission. She tapped. Over oh, her. You done well, tapped. conqueror, I mean, she sat back down as far as she could. That's going to do, do a lot of damage. Knees, back, hips. She had no what. She had nothing. But, that's the best move for her. Tap it. So the conqueror conquers again. Of course she does. An incredible effort by Suzu Yoon, but unfortunately, it's game over. Yeah, that conquer, she's pretty tough, let me tell you. But I tell you what, I don't know. I think if uh, these two ever got at it again, I think there's going to be a little bit of competition. Well, once Suzu, you know, gets to know some of the opponents and know what they can do and know how to use their strengths against them, yeah. But until then. My money, my money is on the conqueror as she oh, yeah. conquers again. Yeah, she did today. That she done. As she will in all her matches. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, don't ever say that until the, you know. Yeah, she almost bent poor Suzu into a pretzel. A little bit of salt, she would have looked like a pretzel. 
Well, I don't know. She's pretty pink. I don't know if I want a pink pretzel. There you go, Masha. Pose it out. I'm seeing these here pretty ladies hey, out there kicking butt. You, you think it. Don't let your thoughts be heard. That's what you <laughs> need to do. Holy <laughs> gee. What the hell? Is it me or did... They got black out here, guys. What, who turned out the lights? Did we pay the light uh, bill today? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me the management forgot to pay the electric bill. Ugh. How are we supposed to have a show? Me. Okay. i got to get a hold of the the owner of this place and see what's happening with the lights. If you can find them. Oh, there are going to come the lights again. Something must have happened. Oh. Um, uh, where did okay. he come from? What do we got on stage here? Hey, Mr. Phil. Where did he, where did he come, and where did the tables and ladder come from? Uh, I don't know what's happening here. Poor and uh, you got the ladder in. Yeah, I see the ladder there. I don't, I don't know. And then he plus he got some kind of rod in his A big one. Yeah. Hey, that looks like one of them there uh, voodoo sticks, you know. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, there went the lights again. Wow. Hey, no, this ain't this ain't right. Something definitely wrong here. Oh, this. At least, this ain't good. Wow. I'm just trying to get over what just happened. Second week in a row, lights went out, lights went on. Bill's in the ring, and he's not in the ring. But well, mm. we got our show to get. Hey, uh, hey, so watch those. This next match we got coming up it's definitely gonna be a biggie. And we got the Ace Sharif. Taking on Seth Hunter. Hold it. Aren't you both from Egypt? Yeah. Now picture if they form a tag team. They could be like Egyptian warriors. Maybe we can come to the ring walking like an Egyptian. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, here he comes. The mm, man. Here comes the ice. Ace. Hey, he's showing the confidence. He's showing the confidence that makes him a winner. All right, hey, up in the up on the stage, ladies and gents, we have the ace. He's from Egypt, 6'4", 249 pounds. Okay, I was over there giving them a, uh, giving the old pat down. I, if I'm right, last time the ace face set, it was not a pretty match. I believe Seth had, had endured three ace marks and still got up. Last time they faced each other, didn't Seth have ace him with three ace marks and Seth still got up? Uh -huh. yep. That boy is inhuman. <laughs> and here he well, is. Here comes His opponent. Man, somebody better 
Somebody better put that mummy back to sleep because he looks like he's extremely <laughs> aggravated. Hey, he's cute now. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not funky. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, by the way, this match is brought to you by Vixens and Studs Wrestling. They're also on YouTube, so be sure to check them out. Uh, there we go. Give a little nod right, to buddy. our... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent is Seth. And, uh, he's from Egypt also. He's uh, a seven foot, so he's a little bit, a little bit taller. Yeah. But like I said, he looks like a reincarnated mummy. Still has the shrouds and the chains on. But these two do not like each other. They do not like each other. They, this needs they need to figure out who's gonna who's gonna take this. Yo, well, he definitely looks big enough to put to put the ace in bandages. Oh, Sharif's telling the referee to start the match. Just like the ace. Oh, big old oh. shove, big old shove. Oh! Yeah, another shove down. Yeah, but this time, uh, this time the ace was ready, and he rolled out of it. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh look at that. I just look at that. Using his oh, quickness. Quick move, using the yeah. quickness. Because you definitely don't want to be caught between, no between the big man in the corner. Oh. 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 Hit him again. Uh-oh, he's ground. That Seth is ground. I don't know if I would uh, take on somebody that's ground at me. Well, maybe if you have a death one. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh that big foot right in the face. I think it's the best, best thing for the A to do is get out of your ring, give him some, give him some distance, let him Yo, catch his breath. The only thing is, I think he's got a little hurt out there. And he slides well, out of the ring and try to regroup. Yeah, yep. Getting that big foot in your face, you have your head snapped back, you know, it's going to happen. Now he's up on the apron. I don't, he's like, his, at him I don't like his gr his growling, man. Like, that scares me. Oh, uh, what's he going to do? Give you nightmares? Yeah. Put you in the mind of that zombie movie. Ooh, a little oh. And he drops. Oh, <laughs> take out the big man's legs. Take the vertical base. Oh. And he's more your size. He's got a headlock on him. Oh, he just picked up the ace and threw him like a sack of potatoes. I don't think ace is ready for this. The ace just went yeet. But I can see the ace taking him. I ain't got no problem with that. You know, he might, uh, he might pull some tricks out of his, uh, out of his bag, but we'll see what happens. Whoa. I don't know if I want him standing behind me. No. No, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Oh, oh, up and down hard. But well, still yeah, that's one way of putting him in the ring. That's for sure, Rip. But the thing is, he's giving him too much time to recover. You can't give the ace that much time. The ace will come back. Just by that little bit extra time to recover, gives the ace a chance to get his breath back. There's an Irish whip. comes off Ooh. the ropes. Oh. oh! Whoa! I did not see that coming. Me either. Wow. Nice. I, think, I think the ace got his breath back. Right, the big guy down to his back. Yeah, it looked like he, uh... But he can't keep him down, can he? Wow. 
Yeah, but the fact of the matter is, he was able to put Chef down. Oh! Nobody's ever been able to put Chef down. Oh, look at this. These two are really going cool. the for the sidewalk slam. Yeah, you know, Chef might have only been down for a little bit, but Chef got taken down by who? The ace. That's all, I'm, you know. Yeah, but the ace is kind of hurting at the moment. And the big man goes for the pin. He ain't gonna get. He ain't gonna get three. One, two, ah, two count. Now we're starting to wonder what it'll take to keep the smaller guy down. <laughs> Believe me, uh, I've seen what the ace can do, and I think he. I have a feeling he's got no problem with this match. Oh, well, Seth, Seth just gave him a toe But he, uh oh, oh. power bomb. That can't be good. Oh, oh, a nice counter there by the yeah. ace. Shoved him back and shoved his foot in his mouth. Mm -hmm. I've heard of having your your foot in your mouth, but I'm not. I've never heard of somebody else putting their foot in your mouth. But he's getting back up before the aces. And then the ace has to regroup again. Ah, uh, but he, uh oh, big man's coming out after him. Here he comes up over the top rope. Uh oh. Yeah, but that never works out. Kick the ref. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow, wow. Oh. oh. And, and Ace gets a big foot in the mouth. I guess the ref was just the wrong place at the wrong time. This yeah, I guess so. Happened to catch him. Yeah. That could be a great changer, you never know. But without a referee, anything can happen. I mean, the Ace has got to do what the Ace has got to do against a your opponent. Oh, yeah. down, hey, free for all now. Looks like Ace yeah. is getting a breath. He's... I know the Ace has got something up his sleeve. I know he's got something planned. I can just feel it. Like I said, well, at least the Ace is getting back up. Yeah, it looks like he's looking under the ring for something. Ooh. Uh -oh. Here we go. Yeah, but thing is, if oh. referee didn't see it, he just hit he him. Didn't. Referee didn't see it, he didn't do it. Yeah, but hey. Oh. Referee's well, right out now the I guess he's, Right now, I guess he's free game. Just like with anything, you already don't see it, it didn't happen. Oh, looks like looks like the big man is gonna get marked and stay down. Here he comes. Oh, there we go. The big Egyptian was marked. And we've oh, got God, a three count. We got the pin, we got the pin. One, two, two. three. There you're your winner. I knew it. Did not call. It. From the Pharaoh. It... And he did it. No, didn't break any rules. Did it within the rules. Did what he had to to win. Yeah. No way. What Hank? What well, happened? Within the rules, as long as the ref isn't looking. <laughs> Hey, it's not, it. Yeah, but Seth, Seth was the one who, who kicked the referee by accident, so it's not it's not the ace's fault. There it's you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We got Johnny Ingram out here. 
Yeah, here comes Johnny to the ring. Let's see what's going to happen here. You know Johnny and my face has a... Yeah, a little bit of a history together. They just don't like each other. Uh-huh. All right, let's see, let's see what Johnny has to say. Johnny has to say. You just can't help yourself, can you? Cheating is just second nature to a jerk like you. But that needs to stop because these people all cry out for an angel and their prayers have been answered. And the answer is so simple. Next week, Ace versus Johnny Angel in a no DQs match. No count outs, no getting yourself disqualified. This will be the match everyone has been asking for for weeks. All right, oh, you heard it. Johnny is after Ace. Yeah, the thing is, Johnny laid out the challenge, and you know Ace is going to accept him. Ace is going to take Johnny out. Hey, I no DQ match. It seems like uh, something something is raiding Johnny's. I mean, not not in Johnny's in oh uh, Ace's playbook. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see? I am out here challenging this big, strong competitor like a man, and all this coward can do is walk away. Is that really the best that we have here in Premier Wrestling? Oh. Do you think uh, the ace just answered him? <laughs> I think he definitely accepted the challenge. Nice little, uh, nice little shot oh. block to take him down. He comes off the ropes. Oh, there you go. Oh, he ducked out of your way. Oh, looks like Johnny Angel's been marked. I mean, that's one way to get your challenge accepted. You want a fight? You want a no DQ match against the S? You know what? You fucking got your death wish grant, man. Next time you meet me in the ring, this what I just did to you will be nothing in comparison. You should have taken the mark and moved on knowing I am the best. You should have you should have just taken the mark, man. But no, no. You have to keep crying, asking for more. Next week, your no DQ match with the ace will be the end of your career. I accept your challenge to a no DQ match and you will be my next mark. Again! Like the challenge has been accepted, and emphatically accepted. main event it's going to be Omega Dynamo and if I remember right Fritz he yeah. uh, Omega kind of crossed the boss and if I'm right if he loses bend it yeah if it's winner go home for a while yeah but <laughs> oh come on you know you can't you can't up and coming athletes, one of your best wrestlers. Come on, that ain't happening. And here he is. Yeah, well, oh, the rest, Mega. The wrestler who's not been defeated here at Premier. At a New York 
standing six foot nine inches tall, 295. We have got to watch out for that finish of the Omega Bomb, which put many people. And Omega is definitely looking in peak physical condition. Looks like he's been hitting the gym. He's been working out. I, I know he's going. He, he, he will not let himself lose. He will not let himself lose and get suspended. I don't think a day goes by without him hitting the gym. Yeah, Mace, you were just saying, what was it, a couple weeks ago when, uh, when Omega put Dynamo through that car? Is that correct? Ah. Like I said, these two, this feud's gonna go on for a, uh, unless Omega loses, but I don't see Omega, it ain't, uh, I can't see that happen. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying I don't see it happening, because being a wrestler is what Omega knows, what he does best. Whoa! And here comes Dynamo up, up through the floor. And coming to you from Bradford, England, standing at 6'1 and a weight of 187 pounds. Now hold it, they, they usually uh, measure weigh people in stones, right? And hands. We should figure out what that is and, and try to, you know, uh, Well, we at least know that he is the David, while Omega is the Goliath. <laughs> how, hey, Mace, how would you feel if you went through a car? Cars can be replaced. Wrestling can't, but Omega's just been on tear. You step up yeah, to him, he's gonna hurt you. To play bones either. Yeah, they'll heal after a while. But like I said, Omega is. You know, after what he's done, I think he's just having fun with it. Yeah, his job is to go out there, entertain. He's entertaining the way he knows how. So if a person gets hurt, a person gets hurt. It's all part of the business. Any job you do, you, you can get hurt in. Dynamo asking the referee to watch the back. Oh, Apparently what's he's still in pain after <laughs> being sent through the car. If he's still in pain, if he's still not 100%, what's he doing out here? I just gonna make Omega's victory even quicker. Mm, I don't know about this. He might show. Oh, no, he practice. might, he might show up. Yeah, but if your ribs and your back are hurting, you're not gonna be able to get air into your lungs. Not to oh. mention, you know, oh. the pain is going to be magnified greatly. Oh, look at this. A little show of arrogance from Omega. Arrogance? He just showed him who's boss in the ring. Arrogance. That ain't arrogance. Come on now. Off the ropes goes Dynamo. Yeah, that's... That's a big well, old doesn't quite send him down. Sure, he's going, he, he's going to go after the part where he hurts the most, so I guarantee he's going to go block. after the ribs. It looks like the shoulder block hurt Dynamo more. Oh, got the outlaw stump bone going on here. Implement is starting to tenderize those ribs. Omega's just gonna take his time, get through this match, be done with it, and then oh, relax. The oh, no. look at that! Counter. That was beautiful, Dynamo. Dynamo he just got, landed on his head. He got lucky. The old a nice crossbar got the roof. Yeah, but. One lucky move does not win you the match. Uh, again, it's looking like it's hurting Dino yep. more than it's hurting Omega. It, yeah. it got the ping going. Going for the cover. We only got a, he only got one. Come on now. You think you're gonna hold somebody like Omega down? 
a, a, a flurry of few moves. Did he go to pin him for a three count? <laughs> I don't think so. At least he's got the right idea with the agility game. Hey, I'll tell you hey. what. For that guy being hurt like that and, and still had enough guts to come out here and uh, take Omega on, I got to give him credit. Yeah, but you know. Oh, and the kick to the pink ribs. The bandage oh. has a target on it. It shows yeah, you where to go after him. Omega will take advantage of that. Any opportunity he gets. Come on now. Come on. And if he tenderizes the oh. ribs and more, he might want to add a dry rub. I think somebody's going to need to be sitting. Get some ice on them ribs. Oh, ouch. Right. Oh, ribs first into the turnbuckle. Oh, the spine Ouch. first, but that's in a lot of pain, too. Like I said, you know, that's a good thing. Gut punching them. Referee you know, ordering them out of the corner. If I was in the ring right now against somebody that, that was injured, oh, that, that a body part taped up, I would definitely go after that too. I think that's the smartest thing Omega can do. Go after Omega the weakest part. Ignoring the referee. Yeah, he's just ignoring him. And a super flex. Both men down. Ah, uh, both of them are really hurting now, I think. Dynamo's worse off because Omega sees that as a target, not bandage, as a target. He's, and he's going to keep going after him, going after him, going after him. Smartest thing he could do. If he's he a rib, being out oh. by if he breaks, if he breaks a rib, oh well. Here's a cover. One, two. Oh, oh. my oh. Dynamo, oh. Dynamo had enough to move, so he didn't have that third count. How about that? Yeah, but every time he kicks out, it's going to waste more energy and hurt that midsection even more. He's got a cracked rib. It could be broken. And with that blood being coughed out, though, I think we're going to need a janitor after this match. The referee signaling to have a oh, match. Oh, all right. right. There we go. That's what I want to say. I want to see Dynamo kick him a couple more times. Nice. A knee contact. A few lucky moves. That's a one. It only gets a two. A couple lucky moves does not win you a match. Dynamo has been able to do nothing against Omega. He's got no he chance. As far as I say, he's got no chance in hell in this match. Hi. I never count anybody out until the bad lady sings at the end. How about that? Well, in wrestling, you're not going to have a bad lady because everybody's in good shape. Flying all over your belfry. But if somebody's spitting up blood, that ain't good. That's internal injuries. You might as well just tell the referee, I'm done, go to the hospital. Nah. Before Omega puts him in the hospital. Oh, Donimo's not going to do that. Omega retreating to the outside. Look at that. I'll make it one on the outside. You, you tell me who's going to run from somebody who has the ribs hurt. He ain't running. He's just getting his breath back. Uh -huh. Now who's running? He ain't running. He's walking. No, yeah, well, he's still he's walking, walking out. out. But still, maybe, maybe he's just concerned about the health of his opponent. Doesn't want to hurt him anymore. Uh, this. No, I don't think that. Uh, our way out to the ring. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Uh, uh. The referee just got the 10. Uh-oh. Hey, we got our COO out here, Mitch Jasmine. 
Wow, let's last, see, let's last go week see, Trey was out here, now we got Jasmine, uh-oh. Don't look like. Yep, it does not look like uh, Omega likes that steel cage match. Ain't no no. Uh uh. uh she told but, him, didn't she? Yeah, she but. Just show him who the cage should be leaned on anybody who wears this ring. But it's, Omega, that's just more that, that Omega has to injure his opponent with. You get slammed up against that cage. You get your head slammed up against that cage. You know Omega's gonna use every bit of that cage. He's got ultimate weapons. He's going, those ribs are gonna hit that steel. So you know, spitting up blood now. <laughs> You're gonna need to mop the ring when he's done. All right, I hope you guys had a great time. We had a great time being here for you. Yep, hope to see you for our season finale. <laughs> oh, it's already looking like it's going to be a doozy. Oh, yeah, especially with that cage match. I'm Ryan Jameson, Mace, and Fritz. Have a good one. Don't forget Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Second Life. Catch us. Subscribe night, to our all. YouTube channel. Have a good night. See you next week. Bye-bye. Good night, all. Have a good one.